Hello everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will learn about depth first search algorithm. But before we begin, I would like to tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. If you are a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then please consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now without further ado, let's get started with the agenda for today's discussion. So in this session for today, first we will understand about a brief introduction to depth first search. Followed by that, we will look into an example for DFS algorithm. So I hope I made myself clear with the agenda. Now let's get started with the introduction to depth first search. So what is a depth first search? So basically a depth first search is an algorithm for traversing or searching the tree or graph data structures. The algorithm starts at the root node, selecting some arbitrary node as the root node in case of graph and explores as far as possible along each branch before backtracking. So DFS starts with the initial node of the graph, then goes deeper until it finds the goal nodes or the leaf nodes or the nodes that have no children. That is the end part here. You can see 4 and 7 are the leaf nodes. So the depth first search algorithm runs till the end of all the nodes. That is 8, 10. All these are the leaf nodes or the last goal nodes. In DFS, the backtracking starts once all the nodes are explored. And the DFS algorithm uses stack data structure for its traversal. Now that was a brief introduction to the DFS algorithm. Now for a better understanding, let's go through a practical example. So here we have a graph data structure with elements A, B, C, D, E and F. So we will be running the DFS algorithm and we will be traversing through all the nodes of this particular graph. And the traversal will be recorded using a stack data structure. And we have two different colors which will be used to indicate the element's color. So the black color is for the nodes which are not visited yet and the blue color will indicate the nodes which are being traversed already. Now this is the stack data structure that we will be using for the traversal and we have another part which declares or which gives out the output of the traversal of the nodes of this particular graph. Now we will begin with the first one that is A. Now followed by that we will move ahead to B. Then after B we will go through D. Then after D we have E. Next we have C and last we have F. So that's how we traverse through the graph using the DFS algorithm. Now for a little more understanding, let's go through a practical example where we will be executing a program for implementing the DFS algorithm. So this particular program on my screen is an example for DFS algorithm. So here we have the structure node. So followed by that we have also the methods which will create the edge and which will also print the graph elements. And finally, we have the main class. Now, don't worry about the code. This particular code segment or the complete code document will be added in the description box below and you can have access to it and try to run it on your local system and have a better learning experience. Now, without further ado, let's try to run this program and get the output and see how the DFS algorithm gets implemented and traverses through the graph. There you go. The program got successfully executed and we had the graph elements that is 0, 1 and 2 and 3. So it has visited all the elements that is 2, 3, 1 and 0 according to the stack data structure and we have found the output over here. So with that we have come to an end of this tutorial on DFS algorithm. If you have any queries regarding the topics covered in this particular session then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to resolve all your queries. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.